here's the big question. You're interested in value investing and valuing and evaluating businesses on a deep level, but you don't know how, even after researching for hours, probably dozens of hours, hundreds of hours on the internet, and because nobody else shows you how to do it. This podcast has all those answers and much more about value investing and finance. My name is Jason Rivera. Welcome to Value Investing in Your Car. Hey, Jason here. In this episode of Value Investing in Your Car, I'm going to do a book review of a book I just finished, uh, Great at Work. Um, it was a pretty good book. Um, very, not necessarily redundant in a bad way, uh, but I've read a lot about how to become better, how to learn better, how to be more productive in less time, um, stuff like that. So this review is a little bit of, that is a little bit of a caveat coming to this review. If I had never or barely learned about this kind of stuff, I would've given it a five out of five, easy. But because I've learned a ton over the years in this arena, I'd probably give it a four out of five just due to some redundancy from other books. He brings up books like Carol Dweck's Mindset, which is fantastic. Um, Angela Duckworth's um, Grit, which is fantastic. Anders Ericsson's uh, Peak and his studies on deliberate practice and how to get better. He has a This author has a slightly different twist. He calls them learning loops instead of deliberate practice. And it's learn, essentially learn one thing at a time, spending as little as 15 minutes a day on it and you will improve over time. Does it work? Yes, I, in my opinion, deliberate practice is probably, um, I wouldn't say better, but over the long term, I would say deliberate practice is probably better. In the shorter term, um, if you need to learn a skill fast, I would say the learning loop, which I've actually used myself. I didn't know it was called that before, but I've used it myself to learn various skills over the last several years, and it works. Um, If you need to learn a skill fast, I would say the learning loop, spending, as again, I spend a lot more time than 15 minutes, but to learn valuable skills fast, but his kind of thesis is that if you spend as again as little as 15 minutes a day over a longer period of time or even a shorter period of time it your growth in that arena skill set knowledge whatever job um will become better faster you will see more rapid growth um another reason i'm a big believer in this entire concept of deliberate practice, learning loops, learning better, learning more efficiently is not only because of my health issues, which I've talked about before, but something that I learned from uh, Jay Abraham, points of leverage. You want to do for the pretty much the same amount of work or a similar amount of work, you want to be able to leverage and expl- expand your, in this case, knowledge, in Jay Abraham's case, profits, revenue, uh, market share, brand, those kind of things with little to no extra effort. Um, That is why I, or it's part of the reason why I'm such a big believer in learning is because if you do this over a long period of time, you learn what I'm implementing with my own teams right now. We have various skill sets in um, graphic design. One of my uh, team members of graphic design, video editing, uh, copy editing, social media, team uh, leader coordinating things um, using trying to figure out how to use these skill sets knowledge mindsets into money making activities not only for us but also to help a lot of people as well Um, so I'm a big believer in constantly improving if you've uh, Charlie Munger said uh, knowledge compounds over time like money does I'm a gigantic I believe 100% in that uh, even if you can only read 15, 30 minutes a day, it's far better than not reading 15, 30 minutes a day. Over time, you will learn a lot. Um, and that's one of the reasons I consume so much books, so much, uh, so many books, so many video content, so many audio books, um, so many articles, uh, is because I'm a big believer in this mental models and worldly wisdom and compounding knowledge over time. And this book not only will it help you uh, learn better, but it'll also probably help you think about different ways to doing things. One of the uh, most, uh, one of the examples that stuck out most to me was a teacher who flipped, is what he called it, his classroom instead of, he was in a, um, I think it was in a uh, 
poor neighborhood, kids were in a lot of broken homes, uh, a lot of bad situations at the school. The school was failing, it was going to be put out of business, I guess is the term. Um, it was going to be taken over by the state and turned into either into a charter school or some other kind of school. It was failing uh, badly. Then a teacher had an idea to flip the classroom from what is normally a the teacher sits up there and lectures, students take notes, and then they do homework at home. In this case, he had an idea from he was a baseball coach and he showed he showed videos on how to improve different aspects of baseball pitching throwing catching uh batting uh different techniques small techniques in shorter videos and then they would practice those the students had access to videos whenever they wanted or the the players had access to the videos whenever they wanted and then at practice they would implement those uh, things they learned in the videos. So instead of lecturing in a classroom, he took that and he flipped the classroom. Instead of lecturing, they would get the lectures on their tablets, uh, phones, computers, whatever um, they could watch them on when they were outside of school or in the car or walking to school or whatever the case may be. They could watch the lectures then and then they would do the homework in the classroom. And that enabled not only the teacher to help more, um, answer questions more, but it also enabled the other students who were doing better to help the kids who were not doing well, who were not understanding things well, better. So in two years, they tested some more on smaller class sizes. Um, and then I think two years, he, they were given two years to turn the entire school around or was gonna be taken over by the uh, state government. Within two years, they went from a failing school that was gonna be taken over to a one of the most successful schools in the entire country, I think is what the book said. Um, so not only should this book help you get better in life, uh, business, work, job, career, whatever, it should also help you think a little bit differently in how to approach problems. Um, the, I'm a, I'm a huge believer in thinking outside the box it's hard I know it's kind of a cliche but it's it really helps and I think that's where I a lot of my not necessarily I guess benefit to other people comes from is my outside of the box thinking when it comes to value investing and finance and coming up with solutions to different marketing or business problems entrepreneurship problems is because I don't have a typical MBA I don't have a I didn't go to college uh, because I wasn't able to um, and I, so I think I have a very different perspective than most people in the finance and investment world so I think that's why I can help people in a certain way because you can hear something 50 different times but if it's 50 way 50 times the same thing then you won't probably nothing if it's if that if those if that one way said 50 times doesn't work for you um, it might not ever click uh, if you read something that's in slightly different ways or listen to something that's in just explained slightly differently maybe it'll, it'll, it'll click something in your brain and be like okay this this makes sense now um, st uh, stuff like that I, I again I highly recommend the book if I hadn't learned so much in this arena before I would have given it a five out of five because I have um, I'd probably give it a four out of five if I was to rate it. Um, but again, highly recommend it. Uh, should help your performance in pretty much everything if you actually listen to the book and put stuff into practice from the book. Uh, but again, highly recommend it. And uh, highly recommend the other books I mentioned. Grit from Angela Duckworth, which is fantastic. Mindset from Carol, du Carol Dweck is one of my uh, favorite books of all time about how to learn better, be better. Uh, getting the proper mindset. Uh, I highly recommend those two books as well. Uh, if you liked this video, we have other book reviews to the right, left, bottom, depending on where you're watching this, uh, in our playlist, in our Value Investing in Your Car episode playlist. We also have a ton of value investing and investment and finance education videos in the same playlist wherever you're watching this. Again, right, left, below. Uh, where you can where we teach a lot of value investing investing finance concepts we talk about mental models we do investment case studies we talk about things like cryptocurrency gold silver 
why I don't invest in those kind of assets, what is value investing, uh, those kind of things. So we talk a lot and we educate a lot in our videos. So make sure to check those out. Also make sure to like and share the video if, uh, if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe as well and hit the button, hit the bell uh, so you're notified anytime we release a new video. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let us know in the comments below. I'm very active in the comment section of our videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, for example, or if you're watching it on the blog, uh, valueinvestingjourney.com, make sure to comment in our videos. If you have questions, comments, concerns, I'm very active with anybody who comments. And I'd love to talk to you and get to know your thoughts about this uh, particular subject today. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.